Look at her trying to smile. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> she don't have her laughing. Okay, then. All right. So we on another episode on peak confinement, and today we have a special edition. My guest today is Del. So we want to give a big shout out, to, shout out to Carolyn. So my first question for everybody that's watching is, what is your name? Her name is Carolyn Rose Love. Okay, okay. The next question is, were you born deaf? Yes, she was born deaf. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Where are your parents and what are their names? Okay, my parents are... Stella Malo and James Roland Low. They were married for 65 years until they both died. Oh, wow. Do you know how they died? Like I say, bear with us. This is the first time on Pink to find it. Very real, raw, and uncut. All right, so at this part, while we interviewing, you know, Carolyn Rose, you know, we asked her about how her parents died. You know, she got a little flustered, and, you know, my wife passed her a paper and pen to write down her answer. So at this part, when you see her, you know, holding her head and just stuff like that, that's because she got a little flustered. Okay, she said Stella Mae Lowe was very sick um, with her heart, and James Rowland Lowe um, was very sick. Both of them were very sick when they died. Okay, okay. Um, so, next question is Where are you from? She says, I don't know where I'm from. Were you adopted? She doesn't know if she was adopted. Do you have any children? I don't have any kids. Okay. So, what happened to you today? Can you please show your hand? Okay. Yeah. She said she was robbed today after taking money out of an ATM and beaten by another um, unhomed man. And did you sustain any injuries? No. Okay, show them. Show me your hand. My hand was cut and I was beaten. That's Miss Carolyn Rose Lee. Okay. Let's see. All right. Do you have anything? Do any last words? <laughs> you would like to say? So, if you've been following Pink Farming, you already know how Pink do. So, you know, I always ask my guests, do you have any last words? When it came out my mouth, I was like, did you really just say that? Like, don't crucify me. Do not nail me to the cross. Like, when it came out of my mouth, my wife looked at me and was like, are you, are you serious right now, Pete? I was like, you know how to ask that. But <laughs> but it was, it was funny. But like I say, you already know I was asked that question. But when I asked, I was like, I can't believe I just asked her that right now and she deaf and mute. So, you know, don't hold it against me. Because I asked her what she, you know, something she wished for. Okay. She didn't know. All right. So at this point, we're coming to the end of the interview. And my wife asked her, is there anything or something that she wished for? You know, she didn't know or she didn't have an answer. And also, I just wanted to let the viewers know that she suffers from long-term memory loss. So, you know, 
that could have played a part of why she didn't have an answer to something that she wished for. But, you know, like I said, I did really enjoy doing this interview. This is my first time doing um, a person that's legally deaf and mute. So, you know, like I said, it was a great interview, and I hope that everybody enjoyed it. Tell them. I mean, whether somebody's homeless or deaf, you know, people are still people. And that's the story of Carolyn Rose Lowe. Okay. And there you have it. Carolyn Rose Lowe, I'm sorry that it wasn't as long as the usual episode, but like I said, it's the first time. So we want to thank Carolyn Rose for coming out and sharing just a piece, a very small piece of her story. And, you know, I was very excited about doing this. And we don't discriminate. So, like I said, we have a story to tell. They have it. Another episode of Pink Defining. Mm. Ha, 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 ha.